Hi guys, welcome back to Morant's Rants, plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. Uh, Monday morning, good morning. Yes, it's President's Day. I'm excited. Uh, it's a holiday for a lot of you guys. Markets are closed. Going over the headlines. Let's go over them together. Let's see. It's right here in front of you. So first thing is this on CNN.com. You have the U.S. prosecutors are exploring racketeering charges in the short sellers probe. So we know a couple of weeks ago, we were told that the Department of Justice Everyone out there is out there handing out subpoenas to multiple people, whether it be brokers, traders, and media. They want to know who's manipulating this market and how are they doing it. So if they do have this smoking gun, if they do have people talking, remember, racketeering charges are the hardest thing to prove. Uh, the RICO Act, as they have out there since like 1970, whatever, it's just letting you know that if you're all in it together, you're all guilty together, pretty much. And it's the hardest thing to prove, but when it's done, it's done. So when they're telling you that they're, investigating they're looking up racketeering charges they're hoping people talk this is how you do it you shake the tree and you see hey you know what we're going to get you guys on this rico act who's willing to talk first we'll cut a deal that's the way it works hell everyone even oh, donnie brosco even ratted out the mob what do you think is going to happen here with these rich guys these telephone tough guys that's what all these guys are they're not real criminals no, they're real criminals, guys. This is what we're looking at. But it's not just the stock, right? It's not just people short selling on stock and manipulating markets. It's more than that. And I've always said that from the start. Uh, let's go ahead and look at crypto. So if you're looking at crypto, and if you're like that guy, uh, Big Mike, is that his name? The, the Twitter guy who just got arrested for telling all of his followers to go ahead and buy a certain security while he was selling it. Same thing's happening in the crypto world right now. Crypto is being uh, investigated, okay? SafeMoon in particular. And why SafeMoon? Because that's the one that all the celebrities jumped on. So SafeMoon pumping up lawsuit targets Jake Paul, Soldier Boy, and many others. And the issue with it is this. Nick Carter, Little Yachty, whatever the hell their names are, Ben Phillips, these guys are all telling you to buy SafeMoon. Go ahead and go grab it. But what if they were selling it the minute that you're, you're starting to hold these bags? People make money off of crypto. It's the in and out. It's you sleep with one eye open. You know how I feel about it, but there's crime happening in crypto. There's crime happening on stocks. There's crime happening everywhere in this financial world. So what the hell do you do? Well, with well, me, I just buy GameStop. It's really simple, but uh, guys, this is real. So I think, this is my opinion, I feel that the media is finally getting their feet underneath them. They know that last year was just a complete, well, con job, inside job. And now you don't have a choice. You can't ignore this much longer. Much Pretty soon, these masks are going to be gone and these mandates as far as the pandemic is going to be over. COVID is going to be an afterthought. But the crime's still here. The crime that we actually put focus on over these last two years, year and a half. So I'm excited that media is finally giving you that coverage. But for me, I don't believe anything until it happens. So don't tell me that you're going to go ahead and get them on RICO charges until it happens. But it's upon you, and I'm excited. Tomorrow is Tuesday. I'm going to love Tuesday tomorrow, all the twos, and I'm going to love the whole run for GameStop coming forward. How, long, how high can we hold? How long can we hold on until they knock us back down? But you know that this rhyme and reason of quarter to quarter to quarter, I'm living in my life one quarter mile at a time, is the truth. If they can knock us down, then we know we're still stuck in this whole string of manipulation. Until that's fixed, I'll still be here. But GameStop's a great company, and I'm just the one I pick to choose and go with. So you guys all pick and choose your stock that you want to roll with, but we all know what I follow. And it's my dudes, Ryan Cohen and the board. Hey, GameStop, can't stop, won't stop GameStop. Tomorrow, I will be live. Wednesday, I will be live. Thursday, I will be live. Let's lit. Let's get it. It's going to be a great week, and we're going to rock it. I feel it. GameStop. And what does that mean? Does that mean that we're going to go to $10,000 a share? No, that's not what I mean. I'm just letting you know we're going to go up because we have nowhere else to go. GameStop. Can't stop, won't stop. GameStop. I'm going to see you tomorrow, millionaires. Peace.